Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Spudrick, aka Jesse. This is still Clash Royale and I'm having a lot of fun in it. Uh, as you can see, I'm back up in trophies. I'm almost 2300. I want to get back to Frozen Peak fairly soon. Uh, but that's not what I'm excited for. I'm going to get to Jungle Arena hopefully before 21 days. It should be pretty easy. I've been up there before. But uh, we'll see. Uh... I wanted today to let you guys know that the Electro Wizard Challenge has just started. Uh, I will have a video out on that very soon. And on New Year's Eve, I will be holding a tournament. Uh, just a fun tournament. Anyone can join. Uh, and I was going to do a 2000 gym, but with the special offers that they came out with, they gave you a lot of gyms. I'm going to do a 10,000 gym, just for everyone to have fun, show my support to you guys for thank thanking you guys for coming and helping me out. So this is what's going to happen on New Year's Eve. Uh, I, the time is still up in the air, but stay tuned for uh, all of the updates that I'm going to be giving. Uh, it'll be very soon, but there's also a couple replays I wanted to show. Uh, while I talk about that. So this is the first one that I had. I played earlier today. But uh. So. I will have a video on the. Electro Wizard Challenge coming out very soon. And I will also have. Uh, an update of time. On the. 10,000 gem. Uh. 10,000 gym tournament. This is a very simple uh, match here. Uh, it starts out very quick. And as you can see, I'll, I'll take one tower very, very quick to just uh, get everything up. But then he starts playing his uh, elixir collectors as you can see I think he's a little frustrated by how quick I took that it was less than a minute the number one thing is you don't want to get frustrated in this game but I know he has I mean, he's a level 8 I'm a level 10 I do have a level advantage on him but that's not any reason of anything He uses those arrows very nicely. As you can see, we kind of traded pretty even there. I think I, I was ahead a little bit in Elixir, but that just... He's got the Elixir Collector, so he can... Use a little bit more than I can. And there, I think that's his biggest problem is he drains his elixir so much. But he, he's using elixir collector, so it's better for him to drain it. And now I am on the push. I use my clone spell there to make sure that I get as much damage up front as I can. And take that tower. So now we're, we're up two towers, 16 seconds left. We're going to turtle a little bit. We're going to make sure that we win this. And he, I don't think he drops anything else this entire match. Oh yeah, you dropped a couple things just to make sure I didn't get that final bit. But that's two, two crowns. It was pretty good. Then I want to show you this one. This guy is really good. It surprised me. Uh, he came, I don't know what it was. It just surprised me to see... 
what he did. I mean, right there, a uh, miner and a uh, graveyard is a very dangerous combo. But he automatically puts me in the, in the lead now. And then he lets my... Oh, no, he didn't. That's not the time. He does very well with keeping uh, my my pushes at bay. As you can see, it's uh it's very hard to keep my pushes going with, and he's saving up to do that same push again, and I know he is. Uh, a simple two archers put down would be perfect for this push. There's no uh, no need for any more than that. But I just do it to make sure that everything is taken care of. I wasted my clone there. I didn't want to clone, but I didn't drag it back. When I, I lifted my finger and didn't realize it. But now he knows I have a clone, so... Now I've got my push going here. It's really weird to see the one, uh, oh well, it got zapped now. The one princess in the back was targeting the, uh, the Inferno Tower, which really confused me. But here I got a really strong push going, and boom, took that tower, 10 seconds left. So you just drop two, two archers in the back, stop all the damage, and it's good. Now I want to show you an annihilation match that me and one of my friends had earlier. We, uh, it's a very fast match. So this is me and Cypher, both from our clan, decide, hey, let's do a really quick match. Uh, he is only at around 1,300 trophies he hasn't been playing for very long uh so i decided to teach him the proper way to win let's go yes i wasted a lot of literature there just waiting but then i get this giant push going and He's going to push the opposite lane, which is okay. I don't have a problem with that. And then here comes this. I'll let him do that. I'll drop this, kill everything he has there. And now I'm, I'm golden. Two bombs, boom, boom. Oh no, he killed it. Fireball. And a laugh. But I want to thank everybody for watching again. Remember, stay tuned for an update for that 10,000 gem tournament. It'll be held on New Year's Eve. Right here. It'll be held on New Year's Eve. So make sure to stay tuned and join this on New Year's Eve. I'm probably going to say it's going to be right around 8 o'clock Central Time in America. So just... just Keep an eye out for it, and uh, I'll have a an Electro Wizard challenge coming up very soon. So I want to thank you all for watching again. My name is Spudwick, aka Jesse. I love you guys. This is Clash Royale, and I will see you next time.